Hello, and welcome to Norwalk Television. We're live from the Norwalk Senior Center. My name is Chef Jared Gossett of Food on the Fly, and I'll be your host for today, and hopefully later your friend. So let's get to our phone checks, let's get our coffee, let's roll out of bed, put our hair in a bun. Whatever you wanna do, let's just get up and head to the kitchen. And then let's get to our segment for today, which is pandemic cooking for seniors. And not just seniors, but you know, like if you wanna make something for your abuelita or abuelita, you wanna make something for your grandchild and vice versa. Working together with our partners here at Norwalk Television to address social aspects of health, such as food security and social togetherness. In this time, we need to come together to work together with our community even more so than before. Enough of that, let's get down to it. Today is all about breakfast. And the special thing about this breakfast is besides being the most important meal of the day, it's pandemic, so we can't go out, we're locked down. So now we're gonna use whatever we have in your fridge, in your pantry, in your veggie crisper. So let's look together, don't worry about not having this, not having that. We're gonna work together and see what we got. So this is what I found. I found some spinach, some frozen spinach, mixed berries, some bananas, some dark skinned bananas, very full of glucose, sugar. We got our, self, our single serve. We're gonna put our liquid stuff first to help it spin at the bottom, give it that vortex. We're gonna put our spinach, and then I'm putting one cup of each. So in these little ramekins I have, if you're at home, you don't, have, you don't need a measuring cup, you can just do it by the eye. Me, I'm just, I'm just showing off a little bit, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So put a little bit of spinach in there, your berries, your oxidants, energy, your vitamin C, your potassium, dietary fibers. Get this bad boy on. So we're ready to go. We're not gonna throw our, our lime juice or yogurt just yet. That just helps us bring the balance down. So we're gonna see what we're working with here first. So now like you wanna start it slow, get a vortex going, and you don't want it to be too chunky. Just let it spin, let it do its job. There we go, now it's going. Now it's got your vortex. So we're gonna try it. That's why we have tasty food right here. Okay. So we go, we go to this. Now you can either leave it in here, but now we have, we have to try it real quick. So we're gonna take that off. Let's try this, see what it needs. Okay, definitely needs a little bit of lime juice and yogurt for sure. So we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice, just like that, that. You don't want too much yogurt, it's just enough to take the tang away from you know the, the cheeks. So we're gonna put a third, a uh, fourth of a tablespoon right there. Get that in there. Now, we mix it back up. Just a quick mix, now we can take it off. Now, a serving cup, you can take it to go, you're on the go, boom, good. Now you got your smoothie. Our second part, and the most important part, at least to me, is the wave of flavor through spiciness, salsa. Now, this is a very simple uh, salsa bed, green salsa. We got our serrano. Our tomatillos. Now tomatillos, you usually see them in the store. They're you know really big and they have the skin on them. I like the small ones. Packs more flavor. It's got nowhere to go. This is just bouncing around in there, waiting for you just to pop it in your mouth. Now and then you notice uh, it has you know that sticky residue. That's fine. Leave it. That helps it. You know just natural plant stuff. It's the earth. It's the soil. Just leave it again. Scraps. So what I'd like to do, since it's gonna be blended, I just either, if they're like this, I just either throw them whole after I boil them or cut them in half. It's up to you. So then just simple, just a simple, you know, cut. Now you can throw these in. Tomatillos, and now it's like, it's a small salsa. Unless you're, this is for a big family party, you can use four to five large tomatillos. But since it's just me and you, then we'll just use a couple. We'll get our onions in there. Our serrano. Now, the serranos, I usually use three to four because I like it really spicy with the seeds. 
but I'm gonna show you how to deseed them and you'll be fine. And then it's up to you whether how spicy you wanna make it. It's mostly the, the membrane the, in there and I'll show you right now. But right here, that whole membrane, that's the spicy part. That's the part that you really wanna take out. So we're gonna cut it in half. Make sure your knife is in there before you press down so it doesn't, it doesn't roll over. Be very careful, like that. So now here's the membrane. See that, that's what we wanna take out membrane with the seeds like I said it's optional me personally I love the membranes in there I love the seeds you know but we'll take them out so now just like that for your knife in there just slip it up a little bit slip it up not all the way because your fingers are right there do that then you can just pull it through and throw your scraps in there now you have your de-seeded half serrano you do the other half throw it in the water Take it out. Another easy way, or if you have a smaller knife, is you know lay it flat, and you can just put the knife on top, just like that. Slice it a little bit. Throw your finger behind. Pull it up, just like that. And there, all the seeds are gone, just like that. Another thing, everyone always makes this mistake. Don't rub your eyes or or your nose or anything when you have the the, the chili uh, residue on you. So. Real quick, I'm just gonna wash my hands and I will be right back. Okay, now, next is uh, our onion. Now, our onion, we're just gonna, the sweet little boy, remember the sweet boy from earlier? We're just gonna quarter him, just a simple quarter cut, ends off, ends off, scraps, quarter, quarter. And then we just peel, peel back. We're gonna throw our onions in. Now, we want them to get nice and soft, you know, a little bit. So we got our onions, our tomatillos, so we wait for this to come to a boil. Your tomatillos are gonna change color a little bit, and that's exactly what you want. Just flip them over, and even your serrano too. Just, you know, let's, let's be safe. As you use a spoon, just flip them over. So now we got our, um, we got our rolling boil, that's fine. Just let it simmer a little bit, get your stuff ready. Uh, get you maybe a strainer, if you wanna save the liquid for a, for a broth or for a later salsa, for anything. Remember, word of the day is resourceful. Use everything we can. Since I'm gonna use it later, maybe for a dinner or whatever, I'm gonna put it in a measuring cup, then I'll transfer it to a container or whatever you have. I have a little strainer, usually we do it over a sink so our, you know you don't burn yourself or anything, you know. Save like at least a quarter cup of liquid, maybe a little more to get your salsa going, to get that vortex going, you're gonna need it. And you don't wanna use plain water, you wanna use the water that are, the flavors are already seeped in and you know. So while our, our water's going, I'm gonna place this over here. I'm gonna get our tortillas going. Can't forget about the tortillas. So while that's heating up, our tortillas are gonna be going. We're gonna get our slotted spoon. Bring this over here. So now, I'm just gonna get a slotted spoon. I'm gonna pick it up and you can see nice, nice coloring on that. So we're gonna just get this, throw it in here. Taste some of that water. Smells very, smells delicious. Like that. Reserve water. We can just put that on the side over here. Okay, so now we're gonna warm our tortillas up. While that's going, we're gonna get our salsa going. We got our blender, and we got a little bit of water in there. We got lime, limes at the end with the salt and pepper. So, you know, to adjust, adjust the flavor. That's basically what it's for. So our tortillas are going, cooking pretty fast. Let me turn this down a little bit. So let's get our salsa going. So I'm gonna throw everything in here. So we got our tomatillos, our serranos, our, our onions. Nice and cooked, nice and soft. That, our liquid, a little bit of liquid. Start with a little bit, you don't want it to be too much. You could always add liquid, but you can't take out the liquid. You know what I'm saying? We get our avocado in there. Tortillas are going nice. Now, um, if you have a tortilla warmer or uh, just a towel, it's fine. Just get a nice little warm towel. You can just keep them in there, put them on the table, bring them to the table. You know, just, just like this. Boom, just like that. And we'll just warm up one more. We got our, um, our tomatillas, our onions. Now we're gonna throw our avocado. Now this helps with the consistency. Again, this is an adjuster. So we're just gonna put half of a half, just for now. Then we need to squeeze a little bit of lime juice. Now I use a little bit of lime because lime is just an adjuster to me. I don't want it to be too limey. So we get that tortilla off of there. Throw it in our warmer. 
And then we can turn this off. Now, this is where the freshness comes in and resourceful and using it. I only had a little bit of romaine and I wanted like a, like a nice crunch, a nice like little bit of texture. It's a bit blended, but you're gonna, you're gonna taste it. You're gonna taste that freshness. You can use cucumber, just end it with the green. You, I could even use the spinach we had from earlier, you know, but I'm gonna use a romaine. So just tear it apart a little bit. The nice fiber parts, throw those in there, trust me. Remember, you want to start on a slow blend. You don't want to go high first, because once it goes high, it's just spitting at the bottom, and you don't get your vortex. Once you start low, and then you pick it up, and then you have a vortex. So now, you put this on, make sure everything's connected, lined up. See, it's coming through nice. One thing I forgot, and I'm going to add right now, is the cilantro, most important thing. I throw a little bit of cilantro stems in there because the stems, that's where you get the most flavors. And most stem, most people throw the stems out. Well, you know, the stems is where it's, it's got all the soil, it's where it's starting, you know, it's where the, the wave of flavor. So the stems, you won't definitely want to use the stems. The leaves are just, are good too. They're flavorful. They don't pack a punch like the stems. So we're going to throw a little bit of mostly the stems in there. And then we're going to save the leaves you know, throw on top to throw, you know, chop a little bit so it adds color afterwards. So we'll do that after. So again, we're gonna adjust. There it goes. Now I can already smell it. I can smell the, the freshness of the tomatillos and the onion. And now the cilantro, for sure the cilantro. You can open it up a little bit. It's nice, it's looking good. Let's turn it off. Let's see what we got here. From the looks of it, I need a little more consistency. So I'm gonna throw a little more avocado and definitely a little more of the chili broth. And that's, I guess, what we'll call it, because it is chili broth. So we're gonna use the rest of this avocado. Nice avocado, very nice. And then, again, our scraps. I was just about to throw it away. Our scraps. We're gonna adjust it with a little bit of pepper first. Very little salt. You know, just, just very little. So again, our cilantro goes in last. We're gonna adjust it with a little bit of lime juice, a little more. You can even throw, you know, the, the you know, like the zest, you know, the lime, you know. It's all flavor, it's all gonna be blended, you know. Now then we'll just give it one more blend, throw a little more our broth. Boom. And then let's see what we got here. You get this one, you want to get a spatula and you can just push down the side so everything gets in there. But we're gonna stop it real quick. Just release. And just push it down the side. Oh man, it smells amazing. You can really smell the cilantro stems. It's the number one thing I'm smelling. And usually, when you know it's done, when you see little bits of cilantro, like little leaves, you don't want the big chunks. So we'll get this down one more time to get those, get those, get the sides in there. Remember, we want to include everything, include everyone. Leave no leaf behind. So that should be good. Let's get it out of here. We're gonna let this go nice. Just let it, you just kind of want to let it cool down a little bit because it's like super heated right now. It's still kind of heating, still kind of being heated. And the blades and the friction in there even made it more heated. So we're going to let that sit for a little while. And we're going to get to putting our egg tacos together. And we'll be able to enjoy our smoothie, our egg tacos, topped with our salsa, and it will be good. Welcome back. Let's see what you got from your fridge for your second course. So I had a, a red onion. Um, a half a zucchini from last night's leftovers, uh, some lime, uh, tomato, and a white onion. So I'm gonna show you how to dice your onion. You can either do a small dice, a brunoise, a medium dice. I'm just gonna show you very simple, nice little slices so you get nice little slivers. Now the trick with onions, you know, as you know, uh, you know, when you cut onions, you know, everyone cries, you know, whether you're thinking about your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend. No, that's not why. It's because your one, your knife is not sharp. 
and instead of slicing, you're actually just breaking the cell walls and the cell walls are just giving off their aroma. And that's what makes us cry and you know, things like that. So let's get to it. So first things first, you know, we're gonna save this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna use the whole thing. You're only cooking for yourself or maybe you're cooking for a whole bunch of people. So what I like to do is so I can save it for later. So I chop off both ends so it's nice and so you can stand it up. Boom, like that. Now, compost, food scraps. You save everything, that's what this is for. A little like a trash can receptacle. Just throw that in there. So we're gonna just chop this in half. We're gonna use this half, we'll save this half. Then again, we're just gonna peel the, the outside line. Maybe peel another line. There we go, our scraps for our garden and our plants are gonna be very happy later. So then from here, I'm gonna chop it like maybe to that ugly little part. We're gonna save everything. Being resourceful, and this is the perfect time to be resourceful, don't you think? So from here, you wanna get your nice slices. If you want any nice little slices like this, we're gonna start just, just like right here, just kind of curve, turn your knife in a little bit, and just some lines, little even slices. Just nice and thin, you don't want it to be too thick and nice and even and uniform because you don't want them to be to, to be uneven cooking. Like if I were to do this one like that and the next one thinner, which one do you think is gonna cook faster? This one, and then by the time this one cooks, it's gonna be all crispy, which is not bad, but you wanna try your best to do even cook, even chops. I'm gonna chop the rest of that. Blah, 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 so those are our onions. Next up on the board is the zucchini, our leftover zucchini. We're doing, you know, chop it nice and fine enough to where it's edible and you know where it's even cooking with everything else. So we're gonna do the same length as uh, as the onion. So we're gonna chop this little top off. Again, scraps. Then we're gonna go in half. Now, depending on how big you want it, if you want little slices like that, it's up to you. I prefer little triangles to make it more manageable when I'm eating it and it doesn't rip my tortilla or anything like that. So we're gonna chop them and we're gonna quarter them. So we quarter them, get two at a time. Same thing, nice, even cuts, just like that. Got our zucchini. Now remember, you're only cooking for yourself or if you're cooking for other people, always remember that. Um, you can save for leftover. So if you cook too much, don't worry about it. You know, put it to the side, save it. So now we're here at the eggs. The best step, finally. We can smell everything. We're gonna get our butter in here. We're gonna get our pan hot. And not too hot, medium heat. Get it nice and heated. And then I'm gonna throw some butter in there. Now very little butter, because you know, butter is high in cholesterol, we know that. So we're gonna just put very little butter, just enough to coat the pan. You don't want a whole bunch, because then what's the point of healthy eating if you have a whole bunch of butter, you know? So we're gonna get the butter going, let it you know, do its thing. So the first thing that's gonna go in, we're gonna saute our, our veggies. So our onions, our zucchini's gonna go in. Then we're gonna throw some beans. Then we're gonna throw our eggs in, salt it, taste it. And then we'll see how it comes out. The butter is bubbling. This is why I like using butter. It has a nice, nice tallying of, you know, when the, butter's, when, the, when the bubbles are foamy, that's when I know I could throw in the veggies. So now our butter's going, I'm gonna throw some onions in there. Here's a nice little sizzle. You can see the sizzle, it looks beautiful, it smells beautiful. Throws a little bit of zucchini in there. Let that toss around, saute it for a little bit. And then we're gonna um, maintain the heat. You wanna keep it at medium, medium heat. You don't wanna overcook your egg. Your eggs get all rubbery. You wanna make them nice and fluffy. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm gonna show you. I got it. I can see that you know, the zucchini's browning a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna just move them around a little bit. Now remember, it's gonna be cooking throughout the whole time. So don't cook your onions all the way through. Cook them maybe a quarter of the way through. So now the onions are starting to, to soften up a little bit. So now I'm gonna throw in a little bit of black beans. You know. So our veggies are going, we're gonna throw our eggs right now. But before we throw our eggs in, we're gonna season them a little bit. Just bury a little salt. Pepper, fresh pepper, fresh cracked pepper. I love cracked pepper. Now, 
See, we're always ready to go. Throw our eggs in, throw it down a little bit. And we got our eggs, we're gonna let them sit there for a little bit, let them settle. Don't move them around too much, let them cook, don't worry, they're not going anywhere. So our eggs are going, we just wanna mix them around a little bit. You know, getting nice and cooked. And this is a stainless steel pan. You know, if you have a nice coated pan, you don't need as much uh, oil or like a fat, like a fat, you know, to not let the, the food stick. So now our eggs are ready to come off. Welcome back. Now, we got our, we're ready to serve. So you got, our, you got your, your smoothie that you already chucked down. I'm sorry about that, I should have made more. And then you have your salsa, which you prepped and put together, cooling down, should be ready to be served by now. And then now, you do the last part, you put it together. We're almost there. So now, our warm tortillas, out of our tortilla warmer, set them right in there. We get our eggs, a good even amount throughout each of them. So now, got our tacos, get our salsa, get, you know, maybe get some avocado. You like diced avocados or, you know, nice little slices. Just give it a little more fattiness on top. Avocados, you know, full of fat and, again, flavor. And that's what we want. So we're gonna put all this stuff on before we put our salt and pepper. We're gonna put those avocado slices right on there, just like that. And notice I'm using the back of the spoon. It's nice and soft. So you just push through the nice little slices and right there. Top it with our cilantro. Now remember, I chopped the leaves a little bit. There's still a little bit of stems in here. Like I said, that's flavor, don't worry about it. Got that, and put a little pepper. Then we get our the best part. Get our nice salsa. We can just put it right on there. And there we go. Egg tacos. Like I said, you can substitute with anything. This is what I had in my fridge. So we're just keeping it simple. And like I said, we got our tacos, we got our compost, we got maybe stuff for dinner, some more salsa, you know, using our resources. And there we have it. You're ready to go out the door. You got your smoothie, you got your salsa, you got your tacos. A huge thank you to Norwalk Senior Center and Norwalk Television for allowing Chef Jared Gases to show you how to do a pandemic breakfast and keeping it simple. Uh, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram at Food on the Fly Catering. Thank you for joining us today. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.